shell of a car left in Kearney Mesa after a driver crashed into a defense contractor building. Yeah, here's the car right here. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is there live. Jared, the driver of the car just vanished after that crash. No sign of that driver at all. The police are hoping that security footage may help them with this investigation. There's been a lot of activity in the last 20 minutes or so as they look into this car. You can see now firefighters have wrenched the doors open and the officers have been combing through it pulling out any evidence they can get. This is what it looked like a few hours ago, right after the fire was put out. Our 10 News breaking news tracker was here. Not much different, still very burned and destroyed. There's no word on why the car crashed into this building, although from where it's positioned and the, the way this parking lot is laid out, it's highly unlikely that this was an accident. It crashed into a window of this Raytheon building, and we're told right behind that window is a secure wall that leads to a computer lab. There's also no word as arson investigators try to figure out what caused the fire, if it was from the crash or if it was intentionally set by whoever that driver was. Part of what's adding to this mystery is that the license plates on the car were reported as stolen, and they're still trying to get the VIN number off of the car to find out if the plates match the car or who that car's owner is. Uh, interestingly enough, Police Chief David Nislight was out here earlier this morning, and you can see behind me all of the officers. I've been in a lot of car into building crash scenes. I've never seen this many officers on one scene like this. So a lot of mystery still surrounding this car crash this morning. We'll stay on top of it and bring you the latest throughout the day. Live in Kearney Mesa, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thanks.